Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh, oh dear. Yep. Secret World 9 has begun. I decided to do a tad of rehearsal on this because a lot of these stages I knew I would take forever to beat if I didn't. <laughs> So anyway, on this first one, what you want to do is jump over all that and get yourself to the goal like so. But that's the most consistent way that I could possibly find to beat this stage. Otherwise, you're going to have to jump over uh, uh, like that staircase over there and it's kind of crazy. Because <laughs> it's got all those bumpers and stuff like that. It's quite the ordeal just to get over there the normal way, so that's why I recommend doing it like this. And I can get the feel of this down, there we go. I just needed to ease up on the throttle a little bit there so I could hit that other arrow on my landing. One down, eight to go. <laughs> this one right here doesn't seem all that hard, but you've only got 20 seconds to do it. And that is going to be the end of you. <laughs> Because you have to rush on the stage to get over to the goal, and the floor is extremely bumpy and hilly. It's it is quite the ordeal. Try and lean the uh, Wii remote left and right, like back and forth rapidly, to try and control uh, your character's momentum as well as their drops. Otherwise, you will not stand the chance here. <laughs> I question, as I was rehearsing this, how I was able to beat this without any continues <laughs> to unlock World 10. I must have been some sort of true monkey ball pro. Holy crap! <laughs> how in the world do you control yourself on this one? Like I said, the, the best way that I found is to tilt rapidly left and right like I'm doing there to control yourself. But you still have to rush, and that still can be the end of you. Especially here! Especially here! Oh my goodness, I made it! <laughs> I am proud of myself. <sighs> Number three. This one isn't that bad, it's just a bunch of platforming. It, until you get to the very last couple of these. Um, because you see those jelly blob things on there. There's one that is very much in the way and will happily bump you off into the gooey abyss down below, and here it is. See the stage? Not that hard until you get to here. Time this right. Uh, I would like... Uh, he's not moving from there, is it? I'm gonna have to take... I'm gonna have to aim towards the right! Uh, oh yeah! That was pro, but stay on, please! <laughs> don't, don't move! Don't move, please! Oh! Oh! And, hey, how would you get up here with the doctor? Can the doctor make those jumps? That doesn't seem possible for, for the doctor to do that. I mean, those are higher than those flip platforms that I was having trouble jumping over on uh, the sixth world. Anyway, this one here, the trick to beating this one consistently is to not do the loop at all. <laughs> Just skip over it entirely. Now, over here, what you want to do is aim slightly to the right, because that's where the loop is ending up. I mean, slightly to the left, excuse me, and then fall down here. Now this one, this one's perfectly straight, so don't worry about it. Just fall down, and there's the goal. Woo! That stage isn't hard at all, just as long as you don't try that loop. That loop is practically impossible. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought we were done with these! No, have mercy! Why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> oh. I think all the bananas are on these thin platforms. So I guess we do have some slight precision on this bonus stage, which, make, which makes it, I guess, a, a bit more interesting than the others. I should probably do the thicker ones first before going up to the higher ones. But alas, I was too rushed. Well, I was rushing too much, I should say. I had plenty of time there and fell off. Oh well. I don't really care. You get the idea of that bonus stage anyway. Alright, this one. Remember that jump trick that I said that to try and keep yourself on the stage, no matter if you're falling off a slope or something like that or not? This stage is entirely based upon it, so you better get the hang of your jumps on this stage. Or preferably beforehand, otherwise you are totally screwed, holy crap! <laughs> that was a close one. I wet my diaper. 
Yeah, because I'm playing as baby. Oh, oh, this slope is kind of large. Kind of, well, it's kind of steep. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my, this is a lot larger. One, oh, okay. <laughs> Success. Next stage. Here we go. See, you just keep jumping and it's not that bad at all. Uh, this one is another one of those jump control stages, or at least it is on one spot of the stage. You'll see once I get over to it. Uh, this first section, as you see here, I was gonna say, as you see here, is pretty much a joke as I'm just running through it, but I was going a little too fast for my own good, rushing, so I fell off, but that's okay. And I'll just get through this. What I, what I want to do here is give myself some time uh, when I get over to these things, because these are going up kind of rapidly, and I want to get onto the yellow one like this before it turns 40 seconds, so I have more time, as I said. Now over here, no, 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 don't touch me! Jump, ah! You're supposed to jump and touch the tip of that slope, and then try and control your speed as you go down that slope, otherwise you're gonna fly right off the, the corner there because of how steep that slope is. And that's, that's the reason why I want to have more time to prepare myself for this, for, I mean, for that final run there. So I uh, just rush through this first part. I highly recommend doing it just like I'm doing here. And there we go. It's not that hard to get it down once you get it. And now here, touch the top and carefully, carefully, carefully. <laughs> it's so hard to control your speed there. But touching the top is definitely essential to slowing your speed down. I noticed that in my practice run here. Well, practice runs on the stage. Otherwise, you're pretty much gonna fly off no matter what you do, no matter how you try and control your speed. No, 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 I need to get up there. I need to get up there. <laughs> I could just wait on there and I would have enough time to get to the goal, but I don't want to have more pressure than I need to for the final run. You'll see what I mean when I get there because it requires a lot of precision and speed to get to the goal. There's a slope with a, a booster panel to get to the goal, it's much like um, that one in World 8 with those balls on that track where you got that last slope and ah, I failed again! See how hard it is to control your speed on that? <sighs> As per feedback on uh, Super Monkey Ball 2, I, uh, if you didn't notice, I have been keeping all of the deaths and retries in. Uh, that's one of the main main things that people like that I did in Super Monkey Ball 2 and is the reason why I have been keeping the many fails in Super Monkey Ball levels as I've gone because that seems to be the wide consensus of what I like what is most liked in the Super Monkey Ball fan community or whatnot as a viewer so if you're whoa no 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 oh now I have to wait or I can just fail <laughs> So yeah, if you just want to see the solution to things, uh, these, this video series likely isn't uh, the, the one for you. Uh, I mean, like, I should say, if you're looking for the solution to things quickly, because I'll eventually get through all these stages, I guarantee it, some way, somehow, I will. <laughs> no matter what, if, as long as you keep trying, you can beat anything, as I've demonstrated many times before. Now, this time... Careful, 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 yes, all right. Now this one right here is why I want to have as much time as possible. I want to get everything set up just right for this. Get the camera, just like that, and jump for it. Oh yeah! And if I let those platforms back at the beginning go back down, I'd be pushing like, five to ten seconds on that last part trying to set it up, so that's that's not something that I want to do. This one right here is a lot easier than it looks. For this first section, just jump pretty much everything. <laughs> and you can get across there pretty dang easily, even if you're losing control like that. But this last one here, you're gonna have to have a little method. What I like to do here is go across when it's like this, and then go through a hole and try and aim for that slope over to the goal. It doesn't take too long between tries it, because of the fact that you can get through this super quickly as I'm showing right here. And whoa! Even though I kind of lost control there somehow and that, that didn't happen at all in my practice runs. Oh well. I blame the fact that I have to commentate while I'm playing. Well, technically I don't have to, but 
I do live commentary. It's what I do. I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. It's not that hard to get out of it. You just gotta jump at a high point and then aim for the uh, ledge that you're aiming for, basically, using the height to get onto it. All right. Number two, try. Oh, freaking Jesus. <laughs> Don't worry, I will get this. As I said before, no matter how many tries it'll take me, I can get it. <laughs> but I know you like seeing the fails, or at least most of you like seeing the fails, and that's why I keep them in, baby. <laughs> it also helps a lot with editing, so... <laughs> that works for me on my end as well. Yes! And I will do it this time! I have faith in myself that I'm getting the feel of this stage down packed. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I have good faith in myself that I'm getting this stage down packed. Mm -hmm. okay, go, 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 go! Oh, shoot. I didn't jump when I touched the first section of that half pipe there. If you can even call them half pipes. What? I mean, what other realistic half half pipe you know actually spins that's kind of preposterous <laughs> i suppose they theoretically could make one of them but that would be kind of expensive and i'm not sure if it would actually be possible then again you know well uh, hey what the heck i got actually got it this time <laughs> i guess i need to talk random gibberish in order to get through the stages properly and strangely i was able to do it by actually jumping past and getting on to the third one there. Anyway, this one is basically get as much speed as you can, stay on the slope, then get up this slope. You don't have much time to do this, needless to say, that's why I... Oh, no, 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 okay. No. <laughs> that was... So close. There's only that one at the very end which gives me trouble because of the fact... Whoa, that was weird. Uh, because of the fact that it moves... <laughs> See this right there? Uh! No, 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 let me get back up. Oh. <laughs> because I have to aim through a moving object rather than... Oh, you can jump over it, but the, the chances of you jumping over it is very slim. But otherwise, this one isn't too hard. What kind of bounce was that? It, it's like he hits the little post on the side, and he's not supposed to do that. <laughs> Let's try it again. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more carefully, just by using my forward momentum to get up here. And then... Alright, that's a lot better. Just slow yourself down, I guess. Lovely! And... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Remember that I said before not to touch the edges of platforms because of their lip? is more dangerous than landing on the center of the platform themselves. This is a stage entirely dedicated to that concept. See these rails? Don't touch the rails or you are doomed! Doomed, I tell you! Alright, carefully drop off the center of this one. Yes, these are blind drops. <gasps> oh, oh. Carefully drop off the center of each of them. And I mean very carefully. And there's also a time limit, but you gotta be very, very touchy. <gasps> See what I mean? Center off this one. Carefully. Good. If you touch the sides, you're, ah, you're pretty much done. I just noticed I was running out of time, so I had to rush that last section. Alright, I'm gonna have to be a little more efficient this time. Alright. Do not dilly-dally. Give yourself all the time you can possibly get. These first ones, not that hard because they're so wide. And right down the center line. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, my god, this would be next to impossible with Gong Gong. Ah, ah. Oh my. Oh jeez. Oh, there's a hole there? I didn't see that. Oh. Oh. I was doing so well. Well, now I know it's there. I, I didn't notice that in my practice run because I, I went a lot faster over there, so I just kind of like skipped over 
those little holes. I just didn't pay attention at all to that. I thought being careful there was the best way to go. But alas, oh, I'm, I must have hit the edge, like of the platform itself. Uh, I couldn't tell from the replay. Because you'll notice that there is little indentations on these platforms that are separating them, and that that also can throw you off just a little bit. Like I said, the stage is entirely based off of these rails, and it's it's quite the deal. <laughs> it's quite the ordeal. And careful, careful. And yes, you do have to pull back a little bit as you're falling because you got forward momentum. So try and fall as straight down as you possibly can. That's the idea here. Uh, I don't like the camera angle. Oh, okay. Get yourself centered. And... Scootaloo up. Good. Use the braille. Uh, okay, now maybe I should be going a little bit faster here. Good. And that is World 9. I'm surprised I survived it and did it in such a short amount of time. <sighs> My score is abysmal. But I don't care, I made it and showed you how to beat the stages. No one cares about the credits anymore. <sighs> well, okay, people do care about the credits, otherwise we wouldn't have this awesome game. <laughs> I'm just joking around here. I hope you enjoy this part, and I'll see you in the next part when I do The Dreaded World 10.